Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Chromium security fixes for this week have finally arrived and made their way into Edge with an overnight update in my region, which rolled out late yesterday to the browser on the 2nd of May. And this obviously brings those important security fixes. Now, there's not just security fixes that have rolled out with this update. There's a little bit more going on. So to double check, we have the update. As always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And this process will force the update, if, if it hasn't done so already, to version 124.0.2478. And the point release for this update, update has been bumped up from 0.67 to point 80. Now, first of all, once again, Microsoft mentions they have fixed various bugs and performance issues, and they roll out these bug and performance fixes basically in every point release update. And then, of course, uh, the important one here is the Chromium open source project gets two, two security fixes that have rolled out for this week, which are both high severity flaws that have been patched. And the first is use after free in picture in picture. And the second is use after free in Dawn. And use after free is a common vulnerability. There are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild, thankfully, for this week. But high risk is your second highest ranked vulnerability after critical. So nonetheless, still an important update. Now, there's also a new feature that Microsoft now has officially, officially listed in their release notes for this point release update, which is the new speed test in the sidebar which I actually posted on um, about more or less about a month or so ago. And I'll leave that video in the end screen for what it's worth. But basically, um, you can now check your internet speed in Microsoft Edge. And although it's available in the site panel, it's not native to the site panel. If you click start, it opens up a speed test by Ookla uh, in the actual main body and online. That's the only thing I don't like about this. I, I would prefer it if it was just native to the... Uh, the actual site panel. And just on another side note, as I've mentioned, I don't find this speed test to be very accurate. Um, I have mentioned that when I've posted when it was in preview, and I've mentioned that when it when it rolled out about a month ago. And now I'm, I'm saying that again in my region. I don't know if it's just an internet thing or region specific, but it's not very accurate in my part of the world. But nonetheless, I think this is a nice addition. Uh, over and above internet speed test of course we still get calculator unit converted translated dictionary world clock and so on and this actually was around a while back the speed test in edge and then microsoft removed it and then as mentioned about a month ago they reintroduced it and now it's an official new feature so just bringing that to your attention in case you were unaware and then there's also a unofficial change that hasn't been mentioned in the release notes and for this if we head to our settings and we navigate to the appearance page and we scroll down to the circle to copilot which is a feature very similar to google circle to search um, as i have mentioned in a previous video near the end of last month microsoft now has um, renamed and changed the name of circle to copilot to just simply copilot vision with a couple of small differences so some of the actual uh, Descriptions for the settings have been renamed and so on, but more it basically does more or less the same thing as it did previously. It's just now been changed from Circle to Copilot to Copilot Vision. And just a quick recap on this feature, if it is enabled, if you right-click and you draw around um, your a portion of your browser screen or a web page, you can then do a search for that selected section in the actual Copilot in the side panel. So circle to copilot is now copilot vision and this has now made its way to the stable version and that's it guys as mentioned not just a security update a couple of other things going on and we get that internet speed test security fixes bug fixes and then circle to copilot has also become now copilot vision so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one